Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Lab Party. So I'm I'm a little sick. You might hear my voice. Caught a bit of a cold. Um it is cold, it's not COVID. And, um, yeah, so, um, so I'm a little, my throat's a little sore. I've got a bit of a nagging cough Come, on. um, and uh, I'm pretty snotty. So you may hear some gross sounds as I'm doing this, but, uh, just wanted to hop on to a brief little, um, tour of new stuff. Uh, I talked about adding uh, watermelons here and I did. Patterns are a little bit different of the lights over here because it's a little bit different. I didn't get it right in the first place. So um, I may go and, and fix the pumpkin one because it bothers me that it's wrong. And it and I do believe it's wrong. Um, so uh, let's see. I showed you this. I upgraded the, the smelter foam meal and um, added a second... Out of this second, that's not, not a smelter, composter. Um, seagrass farm, turtle's still in there. I should name him or her. I should name the turtle. Hi, turtles. Uh, we'll get to that in a sec. And every time I'm on camera, I come over here, there's no glow squid ink or no glow squid in there. But I'm getting plenty of glow squid. Um, so, I've got plenty of glow squid ink. Uh, what did I do? I added something. Let's go over here. I added a machine. Moss, uh, moss farm. Basically. Look at this. So it's a pretty nifty little thing. It's uh, very compact. I'll put the link to the uh, video showing the the design. I think it's Snow Crash. I hope I didn't get that wrong. Anyway, pretty efficient little design. It's got a stone generator. And there's a little clock here. Actually, the the clock is these, the main clock is these hoppers here. Eight hoppers with an item swirling around. It locks and unlocks the hoppers. And then there's a little delay circuit here. And it uh, releases water up here. Uh, uh, this lava flowing over water down below generates stone. Got pistons that push it out for my little platform thing here. And then it releases water periodically on top of that to swipe off all of the stuff that grows on top. The azalea trees, the carpet, the grass, and so on. It does that and it pushes and, and floods eight times to clear out the thing. And then it bone meals a block down below. Uh, bone meals a block of... Uh, moss right there you can see it here and and then it, it triggers a piston to knock anything that grows on top of this block because it can but because this block um, is beneath these then these are blocks that can be converted into moss um, it, it they're close enough that they get triggered and this piston pushes things off they get picked up in this hopper and they end up in this chest so you get Flower azalea, azaleas, seeds, and, and so on. Ow. Um, so that's that. And then they go into a little hopper chain over here. And the original design then collects all the stuff, runs it into a composter, and runs it into the dispenser that holds the bone meal. And it's bone meal positive. I started with one stack of bone meal, and over time, and it's been a little while, it's slowly grown. Um, and then he added 
some item filters to filter out things like the azalea trees because they can be used to, in his view they can be used as fuel in a furnace um but they're also plants that you can plant and so the little miscellaneous thing there i emptied out i put the stuff into there i i added a third slice to the item sorter and i'm filtering out moss blocks moss blocks be full goodness i didn't expect that so i'm collecting moss blocks over here i don't know why i need so many moss blocks but i'm thinking it makes a good decorative block and um it composts extremely well so i need what seven more it, it composts extremely well so it's a good source of bone meal so if i want to i can go grab a bunch of these throw it in my composter or throw it into the composter up there and add more to the compost pile here honestly i built this because i wanted a source of compost over here but i wanted to have the the moss block uh, i wanted to capture the moss block the only problem with where I just, and it basically fits in in this little slice here. I do run it a little bit into the edge of the chunk. So I'm kind of cutting into my walkway here a little bit. So this this bugs me a little bit, but it, it needed to happen on one side or the other. Um, and based on the, the way the stuff was laid out, yeah, I could have moved this over one more block. I'm not going to move the machine. But the only problem with building it here, this seemed like a convenient location. Um, and I built it one layer up above the storage. So the problem with building it here is, come on, all these turtles, I think they see the water in the farm and they're trying to pathfind to it. This makes me a little sad. Not sure what to do about that. Like, I need to give these guys some water. But, anyway. Um, I don't know that there's anything else new in here. <laughs> yet. And that's what we're going to do today. I did, on the jungle tree farm, I brought over some coca beans. And I laid out some coca beans on the jungle wood trees. And so I've got, um... I've got some cocoa beans now, mainly, could be made into cookies, but ugh, who has time for that? Um, they're there for dye, brown dye. So that's that's nice. And, I, and I'm not going to keep doing it that way. I'm going to do something different. Like I might harvest enough jungle wood to build in walls at the side here and, and plant the cocoa bean farm on the walls on the side. I might do that. Um, so we got that, 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 and I think you saw this already, but up above the giant mushroom farm, I have nether wart. So I have a bunch of nether wart. This stuff grows so fast. Uh, so I keep harvesting this, and every time I harvest it, I get a bunch of nether wart. So that's good. I've been making more um, Fortune 3 hoes so that I can just stash them in the area so I don't have to remember to go get the one out of my uh, ender chest. But uh, there's, there's a slice over here with extra torches on it. This is uh, my marker something I want to do where I want to do it and I we're on 1.13 there's new features and including uh, stuff that uh, I didn't record oh hello I have some comments uh, give them a little pot yeah I think I think I might do that. I'm not quite sure. 
Maybe I give them a little pond in the middle of the thing. They don't need all that space. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, this. This. I, I'm streaming, but I intend to to make this for a YouTube video. So I did not record this earlier, but I was wandering around and came across a um, uh, came across a wandering trader, and went up and see see what he has. And guess what? He had mangrove propagules, which oh. Okay, um, I that's a new feature, new to 1.13 feature, mangrove trees. I don't have that on my tree farm. So uh, I, I brought over a bunch of stuff. I'm going to, um, I'm going to lay out, this is gonna be a little boring, but I'll edit this down. Uh, I'm gonna lay out all this stuff and I'm gonna plant myself a little mangrove tree farm. So there we go be back okay let's turn on my grid figure out where my midpoint is it's here these are where I'm going to be planting them because they grow really wide especially with the roots so I brought some shroom lights to surround this in so I know where it is. I got it in the right place, yep. So let's get those shroom lights. And I do want to go find um, some swamps because I want the frog lights. Okay, and then I've been building these with shroom lights in the corners and why not? So I will I will do that as well. So look at that. Now they don't have to be grown in a four by four. Why did I not bring bone meal up here? And you can put it plant them on rooted uh or coarse dirt. So that's cool. Ah, very nice. Whoa, aha, it works. Oh, nice. So I've got the, the mangrove roots, which are really cool. And also the wood itself, the logs themselves. And wow. Ooh, yeah. Dude. Looks like I do just barely have enough space. There we go. And that's just two of them. Let's see, we can pull me old this guy back there. And you. <coughs> Come on, you can do it. Thank you. Excuse me. Now, the cool thing about these is you can just bone meal the bottom of the leaf blocks and get more propagules. It's like on demand, the renewable seedlings. So, or saplings, which is kind of cool. And I didn't realize you could get moss carpet on the top of these roots. So, I have my axe here. So, you get a couple different types of blocks out of these, which is very cool. Got moss carpet, which you can definitely be bone mealing. Um, yeah, vines. You get these roots, which can be waterlogged. You can you can put mud in them. Um, the only problem with these is just harvesting these can be kind of a pain because the wood grows out all over the place. So. But I think it's cool new blocks, and I like the color of the wood. I think it's like the it's almost like a purple heart uh, hardwood.
And uh, and the uh, the trap doors, uh, the mangrove trap doors are very cool looking. Loads more proper gills. Uh, these guys are glitched on something. Let's go find them. Ah, I just got it. So out of all that, I got 47 logs. I got plenty of roots. Not plenty. I got over a stack of roots. And there's still a few more down here to get. So it's a nice new wood family. Until 1.20, when we get bamboo, which I have the bamboo farm over there, so I'm not going to need to create a new bamboo area to get the bamboo wood. Um, okay. This is cool. So, mangrove logs and roots and more propagules. I don't really need the sticks, but I'll keep them. So, there we go. Oh, a couple more logs. So, there we go. Anyway, that's uh, that was my that's my little update. Just wanted to do that. I will be probably streaming tomorrow because I got an Ocean Explorer map and I collected stuff to take on the uh, uh, an Ocean Monument and it's on the map. I know where it is, so went out and found it. It's not that far away from here. So I will probably do that um, on a stream tomorrow. Because it would be nice to be able to get some prismarine blocks and maybe build a little uh, guardian farm. So anyway, so that's it. That's all I have for right now. Um, thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. Bye.